Hello, welcome to Chronicles of the Second War, Ties of Darkness. This is a campaign playthrough. There are 17 missions and I think four acts. I'm going to try to put up each act onto YouTube as a separate video. If an act is too large though, then I will put up Act 2 Part 1 and Act 2 Part 2 as separate videos. Because some of the missions later on will be quite long. We are going to be playing on story mode because as you can see I've actually played through some of this. And whilst playing on the hard difficulty, my main concern was really that it took a little bit too long to complete objectives or to kill AI creeps. They were far too tanky and far too sort of um, high in their damage, so the resources required to get through it felt a bit sluggish. So we're going to do story to give you the best sort of experience and a faster, more active pace. So there's going to be cinematics at the start of each act and some cinematics for each level so I will put in timestamps on the video and you guys can check out when you want to get to the gameplay or when you want to watch the cinematic and let's get started with Act 1 Seas of Blood Six years have passed since the Horde first appeared in Azeroth, and during this time the Orcish invaders have destroyed the once proud human kingdom. Though Stormwind's defenders fought to the end, covering the retreat of their surviving brothers and sisters, nothing could prevent the doom of their homeland. Now, amongst the blackened and charred remains of Stormwind Keep, the Horde is setting up the throne room for its new war chief, Orgrim Doomhammer. forges back in Draenor a few days ago. This way, a piece of home will always accompany me in the battles to come. Do you bring any news? We besiege the temple of the damned as you instructed. And the warlock, did you manage to take him alive? Yes, war chief. The Shadow Council resisted, however, and we were forced to kill almost all of them. Gul'dan was performing some kind of ritual when we found him. He fell unconscious and hasn't stirred since we brought him back. I want him and the remaining council brought to the city. Lock them up. I will teach the warlock the perils of treachery. It will be done, war chief. Gul'dan led a match and the fire cannot be stopped. It will devour this entire world. And one more thing. The sons of Blackhand, Rend and Mame, are asking for an audience. Let them come. I have orders for them. With respect, War Chief, those two cannot be trusted. They will always rescind you for their father's death. Their lives are in my hands, Verok. They submitted to me after the Mukkora. I will find good use for them. As you say, War Chief. First of all, I want you both to always remember that you owe your lives to me. The unity and the strength of the Horde is my utmost priority. That is why I accepted your oaths of loyalty, despite the rumors that are circulating. What rumors? 
that you're planning to start the rebellion against my rule. Some orcs that were loyal to my father may want such a thing. We acknowledge your superiority, War Chief. We won't risk starting a civil war. Good. I'm pleased that you understand. That is why I have a proposal. You will inherit the Blacktooth Green Clan and take all of Black Hand's loyalists with you. That is a very generous proposition, War Chief. In return, I expect you to follow my orders fiercely and without questions. Our clan will serve the Horde well, War Chief. Good. Wait, what is that? Human ships? They're heading north. They will call upon their allies to take revenge. War Chief, did you let the humans flee? Yes, I let them go. But why? Their stories of death and terror will spread throughout the north like a wildfire. Their allies will fear us long before they even face us. Do not question me again. Hmm. Good. Now, if you are so concerned about those human ships, then I have a mission for you. The refugees are headed to a northern kingdom called Lodron. Our prisoners have revealed that this human kingdom is not only Stormwind's greatest ally, but also the most powerful human nation in the north. I have ordered an ambitious orc named Utok Scratcher to establish a base on the island of Zul'Dair, close to Lord Geron's southern shores. You will accompany him on this mission. From Zul'Dair you will evaluate the enemy's strength and prepare for the arrival of our invasion force. This will be your first test, Ren Blackhand. When do I leave? Immediately. And what about me, War Chief? I need you here, Mame. You will be observing Gul'dan's state after he arrives at the city. I want him to be brought before me the moment he wakes from his coma. It will be done, War Chief. War Chief. I, uh, have a personal request. Mm, yes. You disbanded the Wolf Riders after assuming the mantle of War Chief. A chieftain is not a chieftain without his wolf. I need my wolf back. <sighs> As an exception, I will tell Sarfan to return your wolf to you. And me! I want my wolf back, too! Enough! One wolf rider is enough for your clan. Now, be gone. Ah, at last. Humanity will rise again. It's about time. Never trust an elf! Thank you for the raid now, back to why Warcraft. Did you let you get your wolf back, but not me. I have lost count of the days I've spent in this damnable prison. I should have died during the assault on the temple. Sitting here is unbearable. Stop complaining, Terangor. We are alive only because Doomhammer is planning a trial for Gul'dan. Our lives depend on him awakening. Chagall, do you have any idea when Gul'dan will wake up? No, Necros. We know no more than you. Ah, there you are, Medivh. The Horde is making excellent progress. The Kingdom of Men is almost broken. Stormwind will not last much longer. This is just the beginning, Gul'dan. There are six other human kingdoms on this continent. Their lands are rich and vulnerable. The greedy dwarves sit on their treasures in the mountains of Cosmodon. The High Elves, spoiled by magic, hide within the forests of Quel'Thalas. All of them are enemies of the Horde. 
They will all be enslaved or slain. Good. And once you're done, remember who it was who brought the Horde into this world. Who saved your kin from starvation and death after Kil'jaeden abandoned you. What do you know of Kil'jaeden, human? Human? <laughs> I'm more than just a man, Gul'dan. And more than just a mere magician. I am the guardian of Tirisfall. I know all that there is to know about you, your kin, and demons. I also know that Kil'jaeden simply used you to rid himself of his old enemies, the Drenai. But that is beside the point. Then, what is the point of this conversation? I am grateful for your help in opening the portal, and for the information that will help us defeat the weaklings of this world. But what do you want in return? What I want in return, Gul'dan, is this world. This world? This world will belong to the Horde. The Horde, Gul'dan, or yourself? I can see right through you, little warlock, and your desires are simple. Believe me, what I want from this world is beyond you. But in return, I shall offer you something that is worth this world a thousand times over. And what would that be? Power, Gul'dan. Power many times greater than the strength of even killed Jaden himself. <sighs> Intriguing. And where can such power possibly be found? A long time ago, this world was shaken by a great battle in which the Dark Titan Sargeras was defeated. If you find his tomb, you can absorb his essence and claim the Dark Titan's power for yourself. That is my offer. And where can I find this tomb? What? Khadgar? Lothar? You shouldn't have come here, my old friends! Medivh! Where is it? What? No! Impossible! Where is the tomb? Where? Where am I? You slept, Master. Like the dead. For many weeks you did not move, only breathe. We thought your spirit had been destroyed. I am not overcome too easily. Were you afraid that I would leave you to Black Hand's mercy, Chokal? Black Hand, the destroyed, is dead, Master. Dead? What happened? Necros, look, he's awake. The Master is awake. Wait. So is coming. So, the warlock is awake at last. The war chief wants to see you. Follow me, and do not make any sudden movements. If you do, I'll cut off your hands. Where are you taking me? He usurped power, Master Gul'dan, and attacked the Shadow Council while you were unconscious. He killed almost everyone. Only you, Necros, Terangor, and we remain. Who? Who did this? Orgrim Doomhammer. The sons of Blackhand swore fealty to him, and the Horde followed. I'm sick of this putrid stink. Gather everything of value and burn the dead. It will be done, Warlord. Back to work. Sort through the rubble. We need the materials. Yes, Master.
So, you finally woke up. Master, I... Silence! I know what you did, Gul'dan. I know how you manipulated Black Hand, and how your Shadow Council pulled the strings of the Horde in secret. Your black magics will not save you now. You and your foul ilk nearly destroyed us all, tainting our honor and proud traditions with your trickery and witchcraft. And for this, you will pay dearly. No, do not do this, Doomhammer. Give me one good reason to spare your miserable life, Warlock. I bow to your strength, mighty Doomhammer. I recognize you as War Chief of the Horde and swear my eternal loyalty to you. <laughs> Empty words, Gul'dan. We need each other, War Chief. Yes, you are much stronger, wiser, and more visionary than Black Hand. But you cannot win the coming war on your own. We both know that the humans are not the only threat, and that this was not their only kingdom. The Horde cannot maintain superiority in the wars to come without warlocks. Do not throw away this power for the sake of revenge. What you say is uh, true. Very well then, I will put the Horde's interests above my own in this matter. I will spare your life and the lives of your remaining Shadow Council, but only as long as you serve the Horde. Thank you, mighty Doomhammer. I shall make warriors who can repulse even the most powerful priests and magicians of men. They will be loyal only to you. I swear this to you. See that you do. I will be keeping a close eye on you, Gul'dan. Stray from this path and your life is forfeit. Gather the Shadow Council and summon whoever is left. We have a lot of work to do. All right. Chapter 1, Sul'Dare. In preparation for the invasion of Lordaeron, War Chief Doomhammer has sent Rind Blackhand to survey the kingdom's southern shores. He is to secure the area for the Horde's approaching Armada by establishing a foothold on the nearby island of Sul'Dare. an assault against the mainland of Lord Ron. Ogren Doomhammer, war chief of the Orcish Hordes and ruler of the Blackrock clan, has ordered us to establish a small outpost on Lord Ron's southern shores. To secure the Zildar region, as Doomhammer demands, we will need to construct a barracks and several farms to feed the troops. Our success may help us determine the extent of their pathetic human defenses and what resistance they can offer against our forces. Welcome to the first level. What is it, your command? Something you doing? This is a Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 3 for all intents and purposes. Campaign. We're starting from the beginning. Building Four pig farms and a barracks. Orgrim Doomhammer has entrusted you with the construction of an outpost on the island of Sildare. Build several farms to feed the troops and a barracks to protect the camp. So we're going to start off by putting some peons into the gold mine. And I'm take a look at our base nearby. And take out some crates. Die. See what goodies might be inside. What is it? 
Regular protection plus one, potion of healing. Hello everyone. We have some crates over here. I'm going to take yes. one peon and put them into lumber because we're going to need to build a pig farm and pig farm requires lumber. Scroll of healing as well. So our main hero in this chapter is Dalren Blackhand. He's a orc warlord. He's a strength hero. He has the Doom Saw and a very powerful weapon. Plus 10 damage. He's got Rend as a sort of AoE ability. And in Snare. Resources for the needs of the Northern Campaign. Gather gold and cut down the forest. This is the witty pig. Oh, reminds me actually. What do you want? Build the pig farm. Ready to work. Okay, dokey. If you build the pig farm, mm -hmm. more pigs will appear in this uh, area. So our mission is to gather lumber and gold. I noticed that actually, since I'm playing this right. on the story Don't mode. Change. I only need 9,000 gold and lumber, whereas on the hard okay, difficulty, yeah. you need, I think, 12,000, maybe even 15,000. Right. I'm building a pig farm. I'm working Something on it. We need more lumber for a barracks yeah. as well. So the creeps, they're still really strong in this, which is why I've chosen to play on this difficulty. Because on the hard difficulty, they have approximately 40% more health and 40% more damage. Which isn't really that necessary, I found, for the actual gameplay aspect. It's not that I can't do it. It's that I felt that it took away from the actual pacing of the game. And therefore, I've chosen to opt against it. Let's get a barracks. Take out this Sasquatch. This is a sort of secondary unit that acts a bit like a hero, Utok Scratcher. But he tends to get a lot of the focus fire, so he becomes fast redundant. The funny thing about the creeps is they barely give any experience or items that are of worth. So that was always the thing that felt a bit painful about them, is the fact that <laughs> you spend a lot of your resources, food and army, trying to take down these creeps that barely reward you. Utok can use spells, but you have to complete secondary missions, so optional quests, in order to gain access to his other abilities. What do you want? Approaching. Ready right. to right. Yes. No problem. So we produce some grunts from our barracks, yes. put down another barracks, since we're going to want to build up our armies. Same thing with the pig farms. You want about five peons in the gold mine, give or take. It's a bit hard to judge though sometimes. It looks like they go and spend a long time in there, but five or six to be on the safe side. Probably five though. Grunt is ready. I'll leave him here to defend for now. This is another creek camp. It should be a lot more accessible now. What is it? Pretty soon, I'll show off some of the voices, or the characters. I'm going to pull these back. We've got this web ability. In snare, so we can keep the aggro on the mobs, but not pull the big one. That'll make it a bit more smooth to clear this creek camp. Ah, actually, that's interesting. On this difficulty, you don't actually have the Null Overseer in this creep camp. So some creeps will be missing. I believe the AI might be a little bit less aggressive, but as far as I know, they won't change their behavior too much. So we should still be good. The main aspect for me when it comes to playing this through is to show you the game, essentially. What the team have done creating Warcraft 2 within the Warcraft 3 engine. Ready to work. All right. Complete. One more pig farm. Yes. Yes. I'm here. Your command. Moving on. 
3,000 gold was taken towards the quest objective. So whenever you get 3,000 gold or lumber, it goes towards your quest objective. So this section involves us getting harassed by wolves. It does pay to pay attention to what they tell you. Find and destroy all wolf dens. Because these wolves will keep harassing you over and over and they won't stop. So you need to find out where their dens are and take them out. You can see a wolf is coming from the left hand side there. A good indicator that there might be wolves nearby. Destroy that wolf den. I don't think Link there's a wolf den there. If that is my what task. Here. Your command. Something to do I think we're capped at 50 food on this level. Your command, I'm master. Yes. I'm here. What is it? Hmm? Zotta, tell me. Want me to survive? I'm here. Zog, zog. What is it? Hmm? I am ready. Yes. Tell me. Your command. I am ready. I observe. Hmm. What is it? Eitan. I am here. Zotan. Yes. Eitan. Tell me. What is it? That's the last of them. Tell me. We need more lumber now. Might cut out that grunt and build some more peons and put them on lumber. Each chapter contains side quests that can increase Utok's level. Utok now has access to lightning bolt and resistant skin. Alright. Approaching to work. Your command. I am here. Zotos. Your command. What is it? Actually, I might lose that grunt just so I can build a couple more peons. Yeah, there we go. Any grunts that die, I'll just replace with peons. A rune of healing heals everyone nearby. One time use though. Resistant skin makes it so that he is tankier, tougher, harder to kill. Although you wouldn't notice that most of the time. Reduces the duration of negative spells and renders the unit immune to certain spells. Alright men, establish a base camp and prepare to move out. True, sir. Have the orcs really made it this far north? And the stories. If even half of them are true, how can we possibly defeat them? Calm yourselves and stay focused on our task. We are here to investigate the rumors of a suspected horde presence in the Zuldare region. Now, see if you can get that fire going. Light protect us. Chieftain, there are human ships in the northern bay. Damn it. We're not prepared for this. We must put out the signifier immediately, or they will notice us from the ships. Scour right. the island, slaughter the humans, and don't let them warn the mainland. 
I got one minute to get back and turn out the fire. I don't know of any unit. Pick any unit and order them to go to the circle. Okay. These peons should be able to do it. There we go. Now we need to kill the scouts. What is it? We're being attacked. Yes. I'm here. All right. Your command. Swimmer. Jamie. Want me to survey? Look tall. What is it? I'm here. Your command. Chief. I'm ready. So Jamie. I'm here. What is it? Yes. So Zok. Yes. Here. Want me to survey? If that is my task. What is it? Chief. Want me to survey? I am I'm here. I am ready. What is it? Yes. Your command. I am here. Yes. Approaching. I prefer black rock and roll. So that's extra movement speed and attack speed for myself and my army. That's my other ability. Yes. I'm here. Your command master. Tell me. Your command. What is it? We're being attacked. I'm here. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Approaching. That's a shortcut for me. Chief. Chief. Mm. Yes. Time to die. die. What Dog. is it? Your command. Tell me. Yeah. We're being attacked. All right. Yes. I'm here. Your I'm command. Ready. What is it? Moving on. You've got to pay attention to other gold mines on the map in later levels. So, you can always keep building up your army. Levels complete. Tell me. Excellent. We've made ready and scouted the area. Doomhammer will be pleased. Chapter 2, Raid at Dern Hold. A week later, amongst the forests of the Hillsbrad foothills. I will inform our superiors about the capture of the troll leader. Keep a close watch on the prisoners, Commander, as there is no telling what vile schemes they are already hatching. Don't worry. My men know a thing or two about handling outlaws. Do not underestimate the forest trolls, for they are unlike anything your men have ever faced. I will leave you a dozen of my archers.
scouts have confirmed that a band of human soldiers have captured a war party led by Troll Commander Zul'jin and have taken them to a secret prison near the outskirts of Dunehold Keep. Seeing an opportunity to place these captives in debt to the Horde, Doomhammer has commanded that we focus our efforts on liberating Zul'jin and his trolls. Once freed from the clutches of their human captors, we are to return them to the safety of their own encampment nearby. This raid upon the unsuspecting prisoner will strike terror into the hearts of those who would dare resist the Horde. Alrighty, strength in numbers, build a barracks, train 10 grunts. This region is home to a strong human garrison. In order to successfully uh, rescue Suljin, you'll need a powerful force of your own. Something you're doing so we need a barracks. Work. Let's get one of those. I can do that. I'm here. Yes. First of all, it? as usual, check the crates in nearby barrels. You never know. We're going to scout nearby areas. Got quite a lot of resources. Yes. Thanks for the last level. Be happy to so I might actually build some more barracks. Okie dokie. Tell me. Mm, a patrol. The camp must be nearby. I'm here. Tell me. What is it? Ready to wear you up? Yes. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Something you're doing? I'm here. Something you're doing? Work complete. What is Time it? to get some grunts. Here. Ready to work. I'm ready. Yes. Tell me. What is it? Approaching. Moving on. Ready to work. And master. Here. I'm here. Work complete. Work Gotta get this guy. Work complete. Tell me. Hmm? I'm ready to work. Moving on. Want me to survey your command? Hmm? You can actually research pillage, which will allow you to get extra resources when attacking buildings with your grunts, or even ogres, I believe, and, and peons, of course. What is it? Hmm? Your command? I'll use a grunt to Ooh. scout some nearby Don't areas. Jump. I'm here. Tell me. I'm here. I am what ready. is it? I'm here. Approaching. Alright. Double. Tell me. It looks like some Murlocs. Moving on. Work complete. Yes. Hmm. Your command uh, I don't know. Scroll of protection? I can go back for it. Not super necessary though. Unless you can sell items, but I don't think you can sell items in this, I'm not sure. What is it? Your command? Ooh. Hmm. Forest trolls. How convenient. Let us approach with caution. Greetings, Amani. We have been dispatched by our war chief to rescue your legendary leader. Were you part of Zul'jin's war party? Amani, we not been called by that name for generations. Not since the days of our great empire old. You be well versed in our history, stranger. We were indeed led by that great Zul'jin until we be ambushed by the Umans. Three of us were killed, and our ass were captured. I managed to evade capture so I could warn my brethren of Zul'jin's abduction. They can't be on the other side of the forest, but the path be blocked by the accursed Umin settlement. We cannot make it there on our own, but if you truly be here to help us, then we will show you how to build a proper Cholombo mill and grant you the use of our tools and weapons. Zul'jin is of great interest to our war chief. That is why we were here to slaughter his captors and deliver him to safety. We will aid you in your polite money. 
Our axes are yours to command, Orc Master. Ah, oh, it's teleporting me back. <laughs> Alright, I guess you guys are going to have to do this on your own. We can build a troll uh, lumber mill now. Gathered some meat. It's about 300 health worth. Yes, I observe your command, Master. Tell me. Moving on. Want me to survey? Moving on. So if we wait for the troll lumber mill. I hate these two legged frog freaks. What are they doing here? It seems like these pests are a widespread plague on this world, Chieftain. Much like the podlings back on Draenor. Mm, I see. All the more reason to exterminate them. Be happy to. What is it? So as I was saying, if we wait for the troll lumber mill, yes. then we can produce some Chief. troll headhunters. Work What is it? We've got a fountain of healing here as well. Approaching. Yes. Yes. What is it? Okay. Here, close the gate. Oh well. Sorry, Mr. Grunt. Poor guy. I sent him out to scout, apparently. Want me to survey? What is it? Work complete. Make sure to scout because you might Your find some secret areas. Protection plus four is definitely very nice. Approaching, you want that? What is it? Complete. I am here. Yes, you are I am here. ready. You got me. We need more gold. We're toward here. What you want? Mm -hmm. You're the only one. Tell me. Hey, Dodd. Zub Zub, what, what is it? Your command. I am here. Sure. Yes. Tell me. Chief. You got me. I am ready. Mm -hmm. Sorry, he was an alliance dog. What is it? Yes. yes. Tell me. Want me to survey? Mm -hmm. Chief. Work complete, you act. If that is my task, yes. I am ready. Yes. Want me to survey? I am here. Yes. I am ready. Tell me. I know our focus must be Zul'jin, but burning this place to the ground would greatly weaken Durnhol. You're right, Uka. And the carnage would do well in covering our escape. See it done. I'll show off some of the voice lines a bit later because there'll be a le level later on where you you do a bit more waiting around. Tell me. Work complete. Want you to survey? 
This guy is a Chad. He's gonna help us a lot. So whilst they're doing that, I can show us some of the voice lines now, actually. Moving on. Hmm. I'm here. What is it? Doomhammer will pay for his treachery. I will lead the horde one day. Everyone knows I'm the tall one. Mame's the short one. Press me again. Oh well. Is up against there. I'm here. I'll try this again. I'm here. What is it? Doomhammer will pay for his treachery. I will lead the horde one day. Everyone knows I'm the we'll tall one. Turn. Name's the short one. Press me again, and my wolf will tear your ring out. Oh, Tell me. Sound the alarm. I was basically there anyway. Okay. I agree. If that is my task, you can be done. You want hats? He has an ability, Sul Jin, to throw a jar that when they attack nearby enemies, they replenish mana to Sul Jin. He regenerates as well on cooldown here. And Grievous Throw for big damage and stun. Home and knowledge, eh? That's more damage for our boy Zul Jin. Ah, Utok died and he dropped his Ankh. Well, he used his arm cup. Yes. So there that goes. Chief. Oh, that's interesting. I observe. Okay, I found this. I didn't find this the first time. Yes. Yeah, they are magic immune, so even something like Ren doesn't work against them. So we can see... Oh, look, there's the Easter egg. Wee little baby for all. Able to move through the elements themselves. At such a young age. There's some heretics, some traitor wizards. Mylan the scribe? And some footmen. Hey, Dark I've Mega. seen a lot of smart individuals liking the Creep Wars map capper. I'm here. Thank you very much there for the sub. Yes, they enjoyed that map. What you are. Tell me, Zuljin, always ready for what you want me kill. Lovely little custom now. game that was that I put on the YouTube channel not that long ago. I think there's another human building here I can destroy. Sometimes you get a reward. 
Other times you just spend too long killing things and not getting anything for it. Which is why I put it down to this difficulty. So we can move forward. Move forward a little bit more smoothly. In case you're curious, you can't drop the Doom Saw. That just goes for Dalrend. Mylan the Scribe writes the events of Warcraft 2 from the Alliance point of view in the Warcraft 2 manual strategy guide. Oh, that's cool. For everyone, friend. All races consider them pests. Even the elves and the humans. A rare matter that we agree on. Just kill them! Kill them! What I'm here. Okay. What, what, what is it? Oh. Always ready for war. There's the duck. So in like in Warcraft 2, if you click on a unit. That's a neutral critter. Enough times. Something might well happen. <laughs> the duck is not immune. There's a lot of places to explore. See, this guy is a real pain later on. But these stats are a little bit more reasonable. The orcs are freeing the trolls. Stop them. What is it? He's got an ankh, of course. And then we're rewarded with the Druid Pouch, which is, of course, plus one intelligence. The creeps are brutal in this, for the rewards they actually give. Patches nerfs and creeps. Yes, they're still balancing and working out any bugs or issues with the game. They said they didn't do too much testing on the hard difficulty. Which, you know, I don't think they necessarily had time because obviously they'd be working on making sure the game is what it is. And it's difficult to test hard balance difficulty, but my general opinion is that creeps shouldn't be like god tier to the point where they're more of a chore to kill. They're like a bonus to kill. So if you keep them around that level, then that's fair enough. Pretty much just kind of like how they are in the actual melee games. Looks like we've made it. Ah, I see what you're thinking. You Build more you big you. farms. What do you want? You're the boss. You want that? You got me? Zuljin, always ready for you. It war. is Zuljin. Thank the Lord. He's alive. Do what he wonder. Who be those green skins to accompany him? All right with me. For the Amadi. All right with me. Hmm. 
Now that we are safe, we can continue our conversation. On behalf of the Forest Trolls, I thank you for your help. The Elves of Quartalas are our eternal enemies. In ancient times, they ravaged our empire with the help of the humans, and now history be repeating itself. Those Mongols were going to take me to Quartalas and put me in a cage for all the world to see. You are a mighty warrior, Zul'jin. We will protect your people and bring ruin to all your enemies. In return, you will provide us with your finest scouts and warriors. Welcome to the Horde, Zul'jin. It'd be good to be here, Red Black Hand. Thank you, Lumuk, for the sub. Thank you for subbing. If you're enjoying this content, make sure to like the video and subscribe. I put plenty of Warcraft free content up on the channel. <laughs> Many custom games. Some of them RPGs or even custom campaigns like this one. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, we've encountered this issue. I didn't have this last time, so I'll just have to come back into the game, I assume. A critical error has occurred. Let's see if I can get around that. Whenever something goes wrong, do we ever say thanks Blizzard anymore, or do we say thanks Microsoft? Okay. Custom campaign. So, South Shore now, because I did Chapter 2. Chapter 3, South Shore. A few months later, near the South Shore region, in preparation for the imminent arrival of the Orkish Armada, Ren Blackhand has been instructed to begin the construction of service and the maintenance of facilities. Once the Armada arrives and all of its needs have been met, the assault on Lordaeron can finally begin. Loktar, Chieftain. Loktar, our mighty armada will arrive in these waters soon, ushering in our long-awaited assault on Lord Ron. All that we have done here has led us to this moment. To ensure that the armada will be operating at maximum efficiency, the war chief has directed us to begin construction of facilities for them near the South Shore region. He also instructs us to build a fleet of our own, so that we may keep this facility safe against any Alliance incursions. Accomplishing both of these tasks will require massive amounts of the black liquid known as oil. The local waters are rich with this resource, and recent ice melts have made it even more of it accessible, but some deposits may be guarded by Alliance ships. We will need to build a shipyard and oil tankers in order to extract this resource. Once our task is completed and our armada arrives, the invasion of Lordaeron can finally begin, starting with Hillsbrad. Glory to the Horde, Chieftain. What is this? Wait, something is wrong. Blackhead, watch out! I owe you my life, Zul'jin. Thank you for killing those cowardly elves. My pleasure, Ren Blackhand. You and I be brothers now, and brothers be looking out for one another. My axes be thirsting for the blood of the humans and elves who took me. My warriors and I be here to aid you in the battles ahead. I'm glad that you came here. Together we will establish Horde authority over these seas. Alright, supply in the armada. Build a shipyard, oil platforms up to four, gather 8,000 gallons of oil. To refuel the armada once it arrives and maintain a number of support vessels, the Horde requires massive amounts of the resource called oil. Build four oil platforms and pump the seabed dry. Three optional missions. I keep doing Tell me. So we got a gold mine here. Got to get our peons set up. Nice base camp. This looks cool. 
Build a troll lumber mill to unlock advanced buildings and shipyard construction. Ready to All right. We need more gold. Approaching. Here. What do you want? Moving on. Tell me. Approaching. All right. All right. We're going to need some lumber soon. I'm here. So the first oil platform is on to the southwest. Ah, okay. Something you're doing? I am ready. I am ready for war. Tell me. Approaching. You want me to survey? Ready to work. Yes. What is it? What do you want? I am here. I am ready. What is it? We're going to give Zul'jin our damage items, so plus three damage for him. Going to send a peon out to build a boatyard. We can reduce the damage taken by ensnaring the level 5 crab with our Dalren Black Hen. If you go... Oh, I see. I remember now. Troll Lumber Mill first. That will give us access to the advanced buildings. So we got advanced buildings and then build an orc shipyard. Ah, looks like the horde have found me. I'm going to have to deal with those in a moment. Let's run back to base. Something you're doing? Moving on. What do you want? Approaching. We're being attacked. Yes. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to do? When the orc shipyard is finished, we'll build an oil tanker so he can put down an oil platform. You're the boss. I'm here. What you think you I can do this. I'm here. Approaching the money bin around complete. And we want what you want. Oil tanker. Oh. Got destroyer. Not to destroy. This be the destroyer. These ships be swift and deadly. They can shoot at both ground and air targets. They will be indispensable in naval battle with the alliance. What do you want? I'm here. Hmm? 
Be happy to direct us to an oil patch. There's an oil patch. Put down an oil platform. We'll build some more uh, tankers and then some destroyers when we get the oil. So you see at the top right there, there's another resource here. That's oil. What is it? Moving on. We'll need 700 oil for each destroyer. Moving on. Tankers ready. Something they're doing. Can't build towers yet. I, Captain. Here, work complete. Because our troll Suljin is such a bad boy, we actually probably don't need to concentrate so much on building too much of a ground army. We can use most of our resources. Into boats. And then take over the seas first. So, rally the orc shipyard to the platform so you can get the oil from there. 6,400 to get. Plenty more to go. Scepter of Thee. That's more stats and the ability to summon Murlocs. Bring in the boys. What you want? Tankers ready. What is it? Moving on. Alrighty. Yes. What do you want? I like to sometimes build the pig farms as like a barricade. So put a wall between me and my potential enemies. Now that I'm getting lumber, or uh, oil, should I say, I'm going to build some troll destroyers. Those are the ships that can attack. Don't mind if I do. What is it? Here. All right. Don't build the ship, I meet him. I would love to. Approaching. What you are. We're complete. Do you want hats? Moving on. All right. Do you want me to? Hmm. Want me to survey? What is it? Moving on. Yes, Captain. Georgian Pierre is ready for war. We need more oil. All right. All righty. Approaching. So that covers the West Hand Isle. If we want to move on and get more oil patches, we will need um, a sea army. These guys have an ability called Broadside um, Shot. Fires additional cannons on nearby enemies. Each shell does 75 damage. So it's kind of like a long cooldown, 60 second cooldown right. ability, I think. Yes. Work, work. Oh, here we go. So what we can do is keep our units back. And let Suljin take most of the damage here, since he's the only one that can re regen properly. The enemy forces are definitely a lot more tolerable to fight against in this uh, difficulty. Work complete. I am here. For the Lord. Yes. What do you want? I'm going to take these guys and move them north, as well as uh, an oil tanker. What is it? And we will stay alive. I'm here. Hmm? Zuljin always ready for war. Work complete. Don't build the ship. You're the captain. Tell me. I'm here. What is it? What do you want? Tell me, yes, Captain. Oh, hi, Captain. Hmm? You want hats? We'll be in attack. I'm here. Yes, Captain. Right, we're under attack.
you can indeed use peons to repair. That won't cost you lump oil to repair, but it will cost you gold and wood. Oil platform is up, just as this one's about to go down. I'm gonna build a couple more shipyards. I can do that. What is it? Okay, okay. What you are? How do you want it? I am here. How do you want to do a survey? Well, you are. I am here. Direct us to an oil patch. I am yes. There's another gold mine here we can take. That'll be mine soon. Yes, Captain. Yes. I can do that. I'm here. Yes, Captain. What is it? Approaching anything. Tell me. Moving on. Ah. Yes, Captain. Work complete. Found a telescope. Work complete. Yes. Tanker is ready. Work, work. Telescope allows me to scout. I'm here. Approaching. Something you're doing. Hmm? What Tanker is ready. Yes. Be happy to. Something you're doing. Hmm? Work complete. On. Looks like a ship has found us, but we still got a couple of boats over here to protect. A sneaky ancient hider over here. Now, I don't want to kill him there, necessarily, because he might drop an item. So if we can pull him back... That'd be great. Preferably by the shoreline. No, 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 no. I'll bring you over, buddy. Come on over. I gonna bury you. Tell me. Yes, Captain. Zorgin always. Hey, he's complete. probably not gonna. You need to get some more shots. Huh? Maybe. Come on. Work complete. Gotcha. Come on over. Come on complete. over. I gonna bury you. Well, now we need to keep his attention. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, so we put you guys in that position there, so you get the aggro on him once he goes around that far. All right with me. Now we got him. No, maybe not. He's he's very shy. Okay, we'll just kill him. Just kill him. I assume he's probably going to drop nothing because most of them do. Gives you gold, that much at least. So we send these back, those ships. Put these peons on repair. See you later, Utok. That guy's always getting himself killed. So you can see the peons are repairing the boats now. I don't think you can go there. That looks too low ground to me. It's possible you might be able to attack the doodad next to it, though, to make a tree fall or something. Nope. 
can't attack any trees nearby. It's a dead end. Let's free some more uh, trolls. What is it? The Gilneans, chieftain, perhaps we should warn the Armada. Gilneas should not be... Nonsense! The Orcish Armada is the greatest naval force in Orcish history. If the Gilneans are foolish enough to stand in their way, then let them sail to their doom. Tell that to Admiral Proudmoore. Chieftain, there is a force of battleships anchored in South Shore. They could set sail at any moment. Look, Narush! They must not be allowed to threaten our operations here! Destroy them immediately! So we got a uh, extra mission. Destroy the battleships. Destroy the Alliance camp on the island. We're working on that one at the moment. And another undiscovered quest. So let's pull these guys back and get some more what is it? destroyers stacked up. Now we can focus on our main task without hindrance. What is it? Mm? Stay around forever. Tell me. I'm, I'm here. Mm? Tell me. Approaching. You got me. What do you want? I can do this. What do you want? Yes, Captain. Going to take an oil tanker, pull him over to here. We're nearing the patch. Tell me. Yes, Captain. I would love to build the ship. What do you want me to kill? I'm here. Here. Something you're doing? I'm eating. Not even sure if I really need pillage, but I'll take it. This upgrade gives you more lumber when you bring it back. Probably okay though, to be honest. I am here. What you are. What is it? What you are you? Always ready for this, Captain. Don't build the ship. Oh boy. I'm eating. You're the captain. Yes. What is it? I am yes, here. Captain. Tell me. Direct us to an oil patch. Hmm? I mean to search complete. That's the other oil patch we need to get. Belongs to the computer. Hmm? I am here. Thank like you. Search complete. I'm eating. Oh, boy. Arm. Yes, Captain. Tell me. Yes, Captain. What is always ready for war. Hmm? Huh? Okie dokie. I'm eating. Work complete. All right, the boys are ready. We're going to take care of the battleships at the top left. Stay around forever. Zuljin always ready for war. All Tanker is ready. Is dead earth. And even dead. Our oil patch is depleted. Like I be listening to a pink skin. Ask me no question, I tell you no lie. <laughs> Tanker is ready. He's pushing my buttons. You wanna make we'll me go berserk? Where all the axes come from anyway? I throw axe, I get new axe. Throw axe, new axe. This is some powerful movie. <sighs> I give my left arm for you to stop poking me. Do you want hats? 
Cool guy, that soldier. Makes me wonder. Oh no, I can't yet. The crew awaits your order. I, Captain, direct us to an oil patch. The ship. I'm can't get um, a transport ship yet. What do you want? Yes, Captain. What do you want? You want that? I'm eating. Fire! I'm I'm captain. Yes, Captain. Ahoy. Mm. I'm, I'm here. here. Chieftain, this human tanker carried oil. Maybe we can pillage more oil from these pathetic humans. Excellent idea, Utok. This way we can claim even more oil while striking a crippling blow against our enemies. I see. The oil war. Destroy the enemy refineries. That looks like a refinery to me. You got it. Always ready for war. I'll upload soon. Direct us to an oil patch. Oil patch. The crew awaits your order. For our oil platform. We're nearing the patch. Forward we go. Yes, Captain. I'll look to die. What you want? What is it? Ahoy. Don't build the ship. Ah, some turtles over here. I think I'll hold on to the oil now because I need 8,000 oil. Oh, you pillage oil though, don't you? From killing the refineries too. So we've just jumped right up. I kind of want to kill those turtles all the way down at the south. Just takes a little bit longer. Something you're doing. We'll either get 8,000 oil. I think we can get it just from plundering. Although I've killed the refinery, so maybe not. Yeah, we've basically done it. Just goes for the 8,000. Job done.
Chapter 4, Assault on Hillsbred. Now that the Horde has strengthened its position near the coastlines of southern Lordaeron, Ren Blackhand has been ordered to make a gruesome example of the township of Hillsbred. He now only awaits the arrival of the Orcish Armada. Good day, Magistrate. May the light bless you and your people. Thank you, Captain. What brings you and your men to Hillsbred? I would like an update on the evacuation of the civilian population, Magistrate, as the Horde can make its move at any moment. Ah, yes, about that. I'm afraid the evacuation you requested is not going to happen. What? We warned you about the Horde's intentions months ago. Who is responsible for this outrage? I am Captain. Suffice to say, I remain unconvinced that a Horde offensive is as imminent as you and your kinsmen seem to think. I have ordered our people to remain here, and tasked my officials with matters of much greater importance, such as trade. Are you serious? What about the recent attacks near South Shore? What about the assaults on the Dernhold prison camps? The Orcs have been testing us for months, Captain. None of what you describe indicate a change in behavior to me. This fear-mongering is but the latest incarnation of a fairy old pattern. Kings and High Lords will go to any length to justify their tax hikes, just so they can feed their armies and play their political games. Feeding their armies, you say? Why then can I only see three dozen soldiers here? I sent parts of our garrison to Taran Mill. A recent increase in bandit activity demanded a response. My country was ruled by naive and short-sighted aristocrats. When the Horde came to my homeland, these people failed to realize the magnitude of the threat. They were too slow to act. Too proud to ask for help, and they led our nation to ruin. Now, you are repeating that same mistake. I will take this matter to Lord Lothar. You will be held accountable for your negligence, Magistrate. Now, now, Captain Merrin, there is really no reason to go that far. If the Horde really is about to attack Lordaeron, then what are you proposing that I do about it? Recall your troops from Terran Mill and reinforce your bulwarks. Send your civilians into Lordaeron's interior and prepare for the fight of your life. The Horde takes no prisoners. The Horde shows no mercy. I will. And Merrin, you can take some pack horses with food and supplies for your men. Thank you, Magistrate. My men and I are done with treating. We will buy your people whatever time we can. Patrick! Samwell! The Magistrate of Hillsbrad has neglected his duty and left his township and his region in mortal danger. The Horde is coming. We know it is. And it falls to us to distract them long enough for Hillsbrad to rally its defenses and send his people to safety. This is it, men. This is our final stand. This is our chance to avenge the ghosts of Stormwing. The Lion will roar, Commander. I will hand out weapons and prepare our men for the battle ahead. Samwell, we will need to scout the nearby islands for any sign of Horde activity. If our fears are correct, then we must know when and where to strike. The fate of Hillsbred depends on it. Yes, Captain.
I don't understand this. The Armada was supposed to have been here hours ago. If Doomhammer has lost his nerve, then I will carry out this invasion myself. My scouts be reporting that the Armada be under attack by the Guinean Navy. They say that the clash be very brutal and very bloody. Chieftain, in light of this development, should we not withdraw our forces to a more defensible position? Without the Armada, we... No, Doc. The Armada will get here once it has crushed those Gilnean dogs. Until then, we will make do with what we have. What is our situation in terms of ship construction? Hmm. With the aid of new foundry sites, we should be able to construct more advanced ships, including transports. That will enable us to deliver our forces across the channel, to the cowering human settlements, and lay waste to Hillsbrad, as the War Chief commands. Excellent to talk. All who oppose the Horde must be taught a harsh lesson this day. Burn Hillsbrad to the ground. Leave no one alive. The fall of Hillsbrad. Destroy Hillsbrad. The time we have been waiting for has finally come. All who oppose the Horde must be taught a harsh lesson. Burn Hillsbrad to the ground and leave no one alive. What do you want? All right. So let's grab mm, our heroes. Mm, I'm going to put the telescope on. Need to survey. Utok. That will come in handy later on. Zog, zog. Tell me. We have a destroyer over here. I guess we want to try to set up some oil when we get a chance. What is it? Anything we can do nearby? Creep. Clear. Watchtower. Your peons can now build watchtowers. That can increase visibility of the area and can be upgraded to a guard tower. Yep. Those are going to be very necessary for dealing with the pesky humans when they send uh, units to try to take you out. Would recommend. Yes. These are updated Warcraft 2 icons, yes. Blacksmith, build a blacksmith to improve your weapons. Yes. Great hole here. Ready to work. Could actually just set up the base here. Be happy what is it? Tell me. Gonna need some lumber. Yes. Be happy to. Something need doing? Hmm? Ready to work. I am here. Here. Approaching. Moving on. I am here. What is it? Ready to Tell work. me. What do you mm. want? Alright, our next mission after taking this expansion gold mine is definitely I'm to get here. more lumber. Ready to work. Something need to what is it? Hmm? And put down a shipyard work, work. so we can get control of the seas. Yes. But we can't do that until we have... Or can we? Have we got the troll? Okay, dokey, we got. Ready to oh, yes, work. we need the troll lumber mill. Yep. yep. I can do that. Troll lumber mill. Can't build there. Mm, build it here then. Tell me when you are stay around. Mm. Yes, ready to work. We can be building some forces as well whilst it? we're waiting. All right. One barracks will be enough for the time being. Looks like mm. we've got enough in the gold mine. What do you want? So, go on to the lumber. Live. Keep it Somebody on about five. This is going to be up soon. I'm here. I'm ready. Always ready for war. I am ready, Chief. Yes. No, I hope I don't fail, Doomhammer. Ready want to me to work. survey? I am ready. Yes. 
Oh, I hope I don't fail, Doomhammer. Uh, writing notes isn't fun. Uh, stop it. Stop it. Chronicles of the Second War. Ready to work. But I thought the Dominion of Lordaeron was a better title for my book. Want me to survey? <laughs> I do want you to survey. I observe. Okay, so we can Don't see what we're up against over there. Work complete. Looks like base is up. Complete. I'm gonna take a peon from over here. Complete. What is and it? put down my shipyard. Leon, what do you want? We got barracks. We'll build some troll throwers, yeah. axe throwers. We Wait. got the blacksmith as well to upgrade units. Oh, hello. Vile beast. You will pay for every innocent blood you spilled in Stormwind and all of Azeroth's folk. Ready to work. Mm, yes. Right. Wretched orcs. How dare you follow us to this land? Tell me, you want our chief? You're the Ready boss. to work. Tell me. Deal with that mirroring guy. Some more levels for the heroes. Don't mind if I do. Quite like the locust jar, and I like the move and attack speed. What you can do, like I say, is you can build up a farm blockade. So if they try to send transport ships. I can do that. Just make it harder for them to land and reach your expansion. Orc shipyard almost up, so that'll be a tanker. We can put down a refinery. Yes, we can. Refinery. Let's whack those down there. Out of the way. And a foundry after that. A foundry is like a blacksmith, but for ships. Let's get the pillage. Oh, that's a lot of peons in the uh, gold mine, so we don't need that many now. That might remind me, actually. I've got a troll lumber mill over here, so we can move over there. We're going to put down an oil platform here. He's got the ability to heal himself now. He's going to need that, because he always gets his ass kicked. Got to destroy the forces of Stormwind. And that's over here. Do you want ads? Mm. If that is my task. What is it? I'm here. Mm. Tell me, work yes. complete. Once we take this expansion over here, it's a smart thing to put a bunch of towers along here. What is it? Zorgin. Because they will tend to send boats to try to land and kill you. Much like they did beforehand. A moment ago. I'll do some scouting with our destroyer. And we'll get the bigger tanks. That's more barrels of oil each time I bring them back. Just means it takes more oil out. But I get it quicker, obviously. Now we'll get the tankers to fill up the oil platform. Reminds me, we can get a transport ship, we'll do that. So I can move over to the island. Or some peons. Yes. Gonna grab our transport ship. Looks like we found some enemies, so brother being soldier in. Because he's the dude that can deal with them. So can my destroyer from behind. He almost brought a friend with him though. Let's get in the transport ship. Should be able to handle that, I hope. 
Land on the island. I can get more boats, actually. Some more shipyards. For more control. Let's kill the giant polar bear that's guarded. Oh, here we go. What we can do is we can ensnare. Maybe kill that just before it lands. That's nice. If you can do that, that's very handy. I believe I had some peons that were supposed to join the party. So those are over here. We got another attack in a moment. I think I built a few too many transport ships here. <laughs> That's why, because the hotkey for transport ship is the same as the tanker. Whoops. I'm going to right manually click those then. I'm going to bring you back in a second in this boat so I can help out there. And if we can get a destroyer just to help out here, that'd be good too. How are we doing for upgrades? Let's keep getting upgrades for our units. We got gold. Mining that gold. You're gonna go over here. Although, to be fair, I'll have a destroyer in a moment. We'll get upgrades for our boats here. I'll deal with this. And then we'll take this island. For the horde! Some extra abilities for the grunts. Although I might just go mass berserkers. Tankers, would you like to go into the platform? That'd be nice. I'm going to take a couple more peons out and put them into the gold mining case. We should have some peons up here that can transfer back into basic buildings to put down the, yep, the main base and some towers. That one peon's going to build those by the looks of it, so this We're next peon's going to build these ones. Bit more scouting, more destroyers, more units to actually attack with. Oh look, they're attacking up here already. Okay, so when the destroyers come out of these, I'm going to send them up to help out here. I think we've run out of oil. So I'm going to pull these guys over here into Sul Jin so he can kill the extra additional aggro that I've pulled. Oh. Chieftain, ships flying Gilnean colors are heading this way. They seem to be badly damaged. Now be your chance to show me how the orcs be handling freeing prey on Red Black Hand. <laughs> I knew those weaklings would stand little chance against our glorious armada. Make their defeat absolute. Sink every last one of them. Alrighty, let's get back into it, shall we? More destroyers. We got all these forces here. Those can attack towards that left hand section. I might actually get one of these towers up in time to then defend more easily without having to be here all the time. You need to upgrade, though, from the watchtower to the guard tower so it actually does something. Otherwise, it will just stare at the enemy but won't actually accomplish anything. 
Now all of our tankers, they need to come over to this section to get the oil from this platform. If that is my task, we're complete. We're going to the transport ship over here. We're going to keep building up our troll berserkers. Blacksmith finished. Lumber mill finished. Peons happily doing whatever they're doing. These guys have run out of gold. We're going to take them over to the island then. So they can. Well, it's already overkill on the peon gold, but you know. I've only got so much gold. These guys can't actually get out because I blocked so well. <laughs> so we can always just destroy this one. And then come through. Now, where's that oil platform? These peons in here. Nope, not you. Wait for it. There we go. That'll be enough. Chuck them over here. See, I'm getting attacked now. That one will get killed, but I've still got some uh, guard towers on the outside that can deal with these pesky destroyers. It's worth getting a few guard towers when you can manage it. Let's put our units on the boats and get ready to attack. Because there is going to be a base that I can take up at the top right. So let's do that. We're clearing this. Making space for my oil platform. Leave a couple of these bad boys behind and continue scouting with the rest. These guys can come along for the ride in a moment. But not yet. No more ship upgrades. There's another platform here, is there? I'm not sure. Nope. I think... Yes. You go there. You come up here. There we go. You guys go in there. You come back down here. Drop, 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 drop. There we go. And now all these can attack up or do whatever they're going to do. You guys can attack over to this area. I'm going to take a tanker to take over this spot. And carry on getting berserkers. Now you guys can join in the party at the top there as well. Looks like we're going to lose that fight, so we're going to pull those back. Going to need some more destroyers to deal with that pesky business. So that means more destroyers from you. They actually haven't destroyed the trees here yet. So I can't actually get through unless I can get the peons to attack the trees. Oh, oh, can I go that way? Actually, to be fair, yeah, I can go, go that way. Come around, come around. Up to this section. What is it? What you are? Give them some grief. Keep building up your units because you're going to use those to attack the top left as well. So we've got gold coming from here, but no more gold from the main base. Too much lumber, so we're going to take more peons over and transport those when I get a chance to take over even more gold mines. Found some ass assins over here. Already out of oil. On to the next. Direct us to an oil patch. Rowing and rowing. Yes. lift. You want that? Being attacked. I await your orders. Come on. Remain seated. We're on the next one. 
I'm going to build a great hall here. And then one up at the top right as well. Gonna need more destroyers. But well, actually, maybe not, to be fair. Actually, I might be able to just take it with the peons. I got pillage, right? See if my brave peons can take on these armies. Plus a couple of berserkers. That should be enough to deal with that. Suljin still stuck, so let's get Suljin out of that situation. Oh, the peons didn't end up winning. I thought they might do. I had grand hopes. You know what, Suljin? Let's just take all the potions here. I'm going to use Suljin to deal with this. Go strong. Go big. Ah, oh, Utok died again. Bugger. That means he's not going to have the telescope in his inventory for the next level. Ah, uh, well, that sucks. Is what it is. It's very hard to keep Utok alive. That guy just loves dying. Alright, what I want to do now is rebuild these peons. Come over here, boys. Getting the transport ships. Yes, I can do that. Let me just start building the great hall here now. I claim this base is my own, even though technically I'm barely able to stay alive. Suljin's almost finished this. That's nice. Right, this base is up. Peon time. I have some peons in there, so I want to take those over to here. I'm going to build some extra barracks down below. Bear doesn't like me setting up base outside his own home. I'll deal with you in a moment, Mr. Bear. No! Merin was right! What have I done? Light's mercy, what have I done? Fortify the entrance! Fight, men! Defend the town! Orcs, you heard the man. Yourselves. Foul beast! I'm here! Mm. You got me? Tell you what you want the crew awaits your order. Complete. 
Looks like I'm out of oil. Oh. Oh. Almost. Alright, let's start building up our trolls over here. We're not worried about the grunts. I see there's another platform over there. Sink the retreating Gilnean warships and destroy the forces of Stormwind. Need a lift. Neutral here. Remain seated. We're almost there. I am here. Do you want that? Moving on. What do you want? Direct us to so there's probably only a couple of ships left. Our been around forever. And we want to stay around forever. You're the boss. Mm. Approaching. Cool and pull this back. Ooh, he's got a shockwave ability. Well, there you go. All right. Luckily, we can get our hero back from the uh, Great Hall. So I'll just replenish and get rid of him in a moment. He didn't like being ensnared. Clear this, clear this. Get the peons in the gold mine over here. Should have peons in this gold mine too. And we're just scouting. Getting a nice look around. Getting ready. A few more ships just to finish the uh, armies over here. Actually, I need to send those out into the open ocean. Because I sure oh, there is one battleship for me to kill. Okay, we're going to have to defend that, I think. He's got defend. That's very good against me. I'm actually going to lose this base in a moment. i got to kill this guy still. Oh, bloody hell. He is OP, isn't he? <laughs> He's really OP, this guy. I just destroys casually my whole army. Oh, and there that goes. Alrighty. You want to play that game? Let's play that game. Let's pull all of these guys. I was hoping that my meme guy, Dalrend guy, was going to be able to do the job, but apparently not. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Which is basically use anyone other than this character, because he sucks. Sword Jin for the win. That really shouldn't have been that tricky. Yeah, bear in mind that this is actually story mode difficulty. Right. So you can imagine how annoying it is when you play this on hard difficulty. Right, no chance this time. We're going to deal with you, get rid of you, and then move on to this base over here at the top right, top left side. 
Apologies. Right, what about my boats? Are we ready to do the attack? Over here. Stop the child from escaping. Time to prepare. Light willing, they will be ready for you. Now, get it over with. You mindless savage. <laughs> Gladly. There goes Merrin. I got one militia actually over here, which is surprising. I think we destroyed the forces over here as well. Now, let's get the Medallion of Courage. Are we ready for, like, the final assault? I felt that the hard difficulty didn't do a good job of showing off the campaign for a YouTube audience. That's the main reason. Can I beat it in hard? Yes. Would you like to watch me spend six hours doing so? Probably not. For each level. What is it? You want that? I am here. What you are. What is it? What you want? You got me. Tell me. You want that? It's Warcraft 2, and Warcraft 2 gameplay be, uh, it'd be something else, let's just say that. Right, that's the uh, extra missions done. Just need to kill the buildings now. We just move everything in. They'll attack much more smoothly if I just do that. Up to 215 food. Direct us to an oil patch. 
Direct us to an idle here. I just send anything that gives me the oh, idle worker me. icon off to do some random job. Even if it's just patrolling, because I can't stand that icon at the bottom left. What did we ever do what you to you? You what do you Ooh, Tok might have got access to the abilities. Unfortunately, I can't rebuild him. If you could rebuild him, that wouldn't be so bad from the Great Hall. Nah, I'm still going, leveling up the Druid now. Although, I think I made the mistake, because... The plan was to get some gold. He's just there to get some gold. So get him to max level and then do quests. Because that's when you get gold, isn't it? Because I was doing quests with, in Red Ridge at level 20. Or 18. And I wasn't really getting much gold. And I realized afterwards, I think I have to be 25. So I'm just basically farming Knolls now. Over and over until he gets 25. And then he's going to go do quests. And hopefully get some gold. Because I got bugger all gold. Star Surge, yep. That's all you need. Star Surge, super OP. He's leveling super easy. So I'm going to stop here for the moment for this YouTube video and say thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. I'll be putting up more. That was Act 1 completed. I'm going to move on to Act 2. Try to do that in one video, but probably not because I'm suspecting it's going to be incredibly long. So we're going to probably do that in two parts. So it might be Act 2, Part 1, Act 2, Part 2, if you see what I'm saying. But I'll come back and I'll find out. Make sure to thumbs up again. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content and check me out twitch.tv slash witty and stay tuned for more.